just like there are a lot of foodstuffs that can increase testosterone levels, there are also a lot of foods that can lower testosterone in men. Now in this video, we're gonna be looking at a food that can have a very potent negative effect on your androgen levels. All the information in today's video, plus much more, can be found in my book, Master Your Tea. Visit MasterYourTea.com for a free digital download of the book. $20 in value, absolutely free for you. Now without further rambling, let's check out this nasty food that lowers tea levels. Flax seeds, let's talk about flax seeds. So flax seed products are super popular at the moment, and this is because of their high omega-3 fatty acid content, which people think is a good thing, it's not necessarily that way. However, when it comes to flaxseed products, I believe that the more potent negative effects really, really outweigh any sort of perceived benefits, especially if you're a guy. You see, flaxseed products are super dense in compounds called lignans. In fact, flaxseeds are known as having dietary lignin levels of 800 fold over that of most other foods. Now, why would this be a problem? Well, not only are lignans highly estrogenic, there's some evidence suggesting that they reduce total and free testosterone levels while also suppressing the enzyme 5-alpha reductase, which converts testosterone into its more potent form of dihydrotestosterone, DHT. Lignans also work by increasing SHBG levels, which binds free testosterone molecules and renders them inactive for direct use on the androgen receptors. Studies on the subject point heavily towards the conclusion that flaxseed products and androgens are not exactly a match made in heaven. First, there's a case study of this 31-year-old woman who had a high testosterone level, which caused her to develop a condition called hirsutism, which is excessive facial hair growth, like me. In an effort to control this hirsutism and drive down the testosterone levels in this woman, the researchers actually just gave her a diet of 30 grams of flax seeds a day for four months. The result, her serum T levels dropped by 70% and free T went down by a staggering 89% in four months. You're probably not a woman with hirsutism though, so how would this flaxseed consumption affect men's hormone levels? Well, it turns out there's a study with the same dose, 30 grams a day, that was given to 40 male subjects for a month. The decrease in total T was not nearly as significant in this case, it was still a 10% decrease though. Now this is evidence supporting the fact that flaxseeds can have a tea suppressing effect even at a low dosage, which is two tablespoons a day. The same researchers had done a study with similar design, 25 male subjects eating 30 grams a day, seven years earlier. In that study, they found that average total tea levels dropped by 15%, where free tea went down 20%. Now, the difference in this previous study was that the subjects were told not to consume more than 20% of their daily calories from dietary fats. So they had different uh, macro profiles in their diets. So a few older in vitro animal studies have also shown that the lignans and flax seeds can increase SHBG, thus lowering bioavailable testosterone for the receptors. So unless you're a woman who battles with hirsutism, flaxseed is really a food that lowers testosterone and I wouldn't recommend eating too much of it if you're a guy. So if you enjoy this video and you wanna learn more about how to naturally increase your testosterone, you might wanna check out my book, Master Your Tea. Uh, I normally charge $20 for it on Amazon, but you can get it for free. I'm giving it away for free right now as a digital download. All you gotta do is go to masteryourtea.com. Uh, this is literally uh, the encyclopedia on increasing your testosterone naturally. A lot of pe people say it can't be done, but the 882 references in this book and just the sheer volume of, of helpful information would say otherwise. And I've naturally done it myself. I've brought my own T levels from 11 nanograms per deciliter to 1192 in 18 months. So obviously it's not true that you can't increase it. So you'll also get a $5 coupon for Testro X over there. Uh, just go check it out. It's at masteryourtea.com and let me know what you think. I just wanna help everyone with uh, getting access to this information uh, as easily as possible. Uh, leave any questions below in the, in the comments, subscribe to the video, and I'll see you on the next video.